rally, we're often asked how common is specific language impairment. We usually quote a figure of around 3%, which is about one child per classroom. But how do we arrive at this figure? In fact, the apparently simple question, how common is SLI, is not easy to answer because it depends on how you define it. In the definition of SLI, three things are important. First, the child is falling behind other children in some areas of language. Second, the language difficulties aren't the result of a known condition, such as hearing loss or autism. And third, the difficulties are sufficient to interfere with the child's ability to be happy and successful at home or at school. How many children have SLI will depend on exactly how language problems are defined. Perhaps the simplest way to think of it is like a set of Russian dolls, like this. So a German study found that after excluding those with autism, hearing loss or intellectual disability, around 1 in 15 children had moderate to severe impairments on a language assessment at four years of age. So that's just under 7%. However, for some of these children, the problems were rather general and affected things other than language. If they focus just on those with a big mismatch, between their language and other abilities, they found around 4% of children were affected. However, some of these children grew out of their problems as they grew older, and when attention was restricted to children who had problems at eight years of age, then the figure fell to 3%. And if only those with really severe difficulties at eight years were included, then only one in a hundred children came in that category. So in the same sample of children, the rate of SLI would vary depending on exactly how SLI was defined. In addition, the rates of language impairment can vary from place to place. Language impairment can affect children from any kind of background, but they are more common in areas of social deprivation. So the 3% that we quote is just an estimate and the number will go up or down if you use different measures or different cutoffs. What is clear is that difficulties with oral language are quite common but are much less well recognised than other related conditions such as autism or dyslexia. We're hoping that our campaign for raising awareness of language learning impairments will put SLI on people's radar so that these children will get more recognition and find it easier to get help. Thanks for listening.